Good morning and welcome to WGN TV Political Report. I'm Paul Lisnick. We've got lots to get to this week, so let's start here in Chicago. This week we released an exclusive WGN TV Emerson College poll gauging Chicago residents' feelings on crime and the city leaders tasked with solving it. An overwhelming amount of Chicagoans said their number one issue in the city, it's still crime. 44% called it their top concern more than three times for any other issue. Mayor Lightfoot's approval rating, that's dropped nearly six points since June. And Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox, she's also underwater by a much larger margin. Just 34.7% of Chicagoans polled approve of the job the county's top prosecutor is doing overall. But when asked who they think is responsible for lowering that crime weight, well, residents are split. The most Chicagoans said that actually CPD, the cops, should take the blame. Dick Simpson is a political analyst and professor at the University of Illinois at Chicago, as well as a former alderman of Chicago's 44th Ward. He studied those results, has some thoughts for us this morning. Uh, Dick, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Paul. So let me ask you, were you at all surprised by the take that the survey shows, which is, of course, the survey is always a snapshot in time, but it shows that crime is the number one concern even over COVID these days. Why do you think that is? Well, a lot of people have now been vaccinated, so they think they're reasonably safe from COVID, even though it's spiking here in Chicago and Illinois and much of the country, particularly in the South, like Texas and Florida. But the crime uh, statistics this summer have been horrific, particularly in shootings and violent crime. And so people are responding both to the facts and to the news media coverage of the facts. When we look at the ratings of the mayor, as you heard me say, her numbers way down, and uh, or certainly down. And um, look, you understand politics. You've been a candidate. You've, you've been through this process. So number one, what is the message of any of this poll to Mayor Lightfoot? And given the fact that she said a couple of weeks ago, hey, I, I don't know whether I'm running or not. I have to have a discussion with my wife, my kid. i got to figure out what I'm going to do. Is there a message to be taken from this poll, or are we too far away? Well, um you know, 40, uh, the, earlier in the, the summer, she was at 48% by this poll, and now she's uh, still in the 40%, 43%. So um, she's doing okay. If you remember when she ran the mayor's race, she started at less than 5% approval yeah. or support. So she could still win if the race were held today. If she can solve the crime problem, then she will be way ahead. Um, so she has three problems. One is the COVID problem, one is the crime problem, and one is the ongoing fight with the teachers union and whether or not the schools will be able to operate. Well, I, and I want to ask you in a related issue about Kim Fox's numbers, but given what you just said, let me actually ask you this. When Chicagoans in the survey were asked who needs to, to, to resolve the crime issue, the number one answer was the CPD, then the mayor, then Kim Fox. So when you talk about she's got to be able to solve the crime problem if she has hope for her own uh, chances in the future, um, the city seems to think it's the cops we're looking to first. Well, the, the police do have a major responsibility and in, in practical fact, uh, leaving aside the poll, it's going to take uh, changes in education. It's going to take solving the gun problem. It's going to take uh, solving economic development in the underdeveloped neighborhoods of Chicago. There's not really one simple solution. The police come in to solve the problem after the crime is committed, not before it's committed. And of course, when you look at what the mayor is supposed to do, that would that would be addressed by education programs, as you said, job opportunities. But how much of that is the mayor? How much of it is city council? And of course, they're one unit in some respects. Yeah, it takes all of city hall, uh, and it takes all of uh, the rest of the institutions in the city. There is no one person who can fix the crime problem. There are things that could be done. Getting uh, control over the guns is one of the major things that needs to happen. Kim Fox's numbers, uh, state attorney, also down as well. Even more people disapproving of her than disapprove of the mayor. Do you relate that to the crime increase? I sometimes wonder whether people really understand the role of, of you know, of the Cook County state attorney. We don't see that person as much as we do the mayor and others. Yeah, I think uh, they're unhappy about the fact that uh, so many people are being released on recognizance and that the, the uh, courts haven't been able to somehow uh, take off the streets the people who are most likely to be uh, committing crimes again and again. And that uh, falls to the state's attorney. That's the, the one person that uh, is visible that uh, people can blame. 
when you look at the role of the police, you know, when something like the Adam Toledo situation happens, young man uh, killed by, by an officer, but again, that's, that's uh, so much going on there that uh, we'll talk about some other time. But, but when you look at this survey, people generally supported the police. There are sort of moments in time. Almost 70% in this survey view them as very or at least somewhat positively. Um, I'm assuming this kind of ties to situations of the, the, uh, uh, the death of Officer Ella French. Again, we had the Adam Toledo situation. So do you find in, in your past in history and study, there's always a, a good level of support for cops no matter what else might be going on? Well, most of the time, but if you'll remember back when the Laquan McDonald case uh, was at yeah. its height, uh, at those times, support for the police dropped. And when Black Lives Matter started as a movement uh, three or four years ago now, uh, the support for the police dropped. So the police uh, support is not always stable. Uh, it tends to be supportive. People want to be protected from violent crime, and they see police as a way to do that. It was interesting, too. The survey showed us that, generally speaking, people were comfortable in their own neighborhoods. They felt safe in their own neighborhoods, but not generally in the city of Chicago. And when you think about, you know, tourism and people's image of the city of Chicago, you kind of get that, yeah, I don't necessarily feel safe. But yet people feel comfortable in their own neighborhood. And I should say, there were people responding here sort of equally from the north side, the south side, the west side. What's your take on that, the comfort in the neighborhood versus the city? Well, people have their own experience in person in their neighborhood, and they know they feel safe or relatively safe on the streets. But uh, what we've been seeing is uh, shootings on expressways, shootings on the CTA, shootings, uh, trouble on uh, the Magnificent Mile. Uh, we're beginning to see um, violent crime spreading across the city, not just in individual high crime areas. So there is discomfort by people uh, about the city, even though walking out their door, they may feel okay about their particular block or their particular neighborhood. Of course, it's very common for people to say, I'm moving out of the city, I'm gonna get out of here. Sometimes it's because of taxes, uh, And but this, this poll asked about crime right now. Yeah, a lot of people said, I'll leave the city if this continues. But of course, the census numbers are out, Dick, and not only did people not leave the city, the numbers are up. So is it all talk? It is somewhat. Uh, as long as they feel personally safe, they'll be okay uh, about staying in the city. And people have been moving in the city, but if you look at the details of those census numbers, you'll see that they've been mostly moving into the north side and uh, the south side lakefront. Um, the uh, south and west side generally have had uh, still precipitous block, uh, drops in population. Yeah. So it's a very uneven development in Chicago. We'd like for people to feel good about every neighborhood, but we're not there yet. And finally, Dick, overall, you've studied this whole survey. I know you know all the results. For people who don't want to take that time, if there's a message to take coming out of this survey, what message did you take out of it? Uh, that we still have areas of improvement, that overall um, people are pretty satisfied with the mayor and presumably with the general city government, but they're very disturbed about the level of crime, and that's going to be an ongoing problem. We cannot have the murder rate stay at the level it is, the carjacking stay at the level they are. That problem has to come under control, and that's not easy for anyone to handle. All right, uh, with our thanks for your interpretation this morning, Professor, former Alderman, all-around good guy Dick Simpson, thanks for being with me. Thank you, Paul.